Our industry is going through times of major transformation. My name is Andreas Rödel and I'm heading the men's category at Zalando. Today I will be sitting with Martinus Gabia Gorini, EMEA president of VF, holder of many iconic brands such as the North Face, Timberland and Vans. We will be talking about VF's digital acceleration strategy and how we go on that journey together. Martino, it is great to see you safe and healthy and I would have loved to be with you in a room. Unfortunately, during these special times, it doesn't seem to be possible. So let me ask you, where do I actually meet you? Hi, Andreas, uh, and really nice to see you. Hope everyone is safe and healthy over there too. I'm actually in my office in, uh, in Switzerland and uh, you know we're, we're back returning to work in the office as well after many months of videos from home. Uh, and, uh, and here I am. So we're in video, but physically I'm in Switzerland now. I was just wondering, you know, I had my first encounters with Zalando um, on, the, on the brand side, and I can mem uh, memorize very well how it was to have the first meeting with the Zalando folks. So do you also have a similar memory like this? Yeah, sure. Uh, it's, uh, it, it goes back seven, seven years, more or less. And, uh, and I remember these people, they came down actually to our headquarters around the beginning of 13. Uh, you know, Zalando was already actually a pretty big company. I think it was bigger than a billion. And, uh, and uh, our brands, you know, we, we have a portfolio of brands. Our brands already started to work with Zalando. And then we said, well, it seems there's a, there's a growing opportunity there. We need to become more strategic. And, and that's why the first meeting was set up. And I, and I remember David, uh, um, you know, Robert uh, uh, at that time, uh, you know, entertaining the first conversation. And it was, uh, yeah, it was actually very interesting. You know, they, they were coming from a technology mindset and, and background. We were coming from, I would say, pretty traditional, good brand management company. And we started to learn. We started to learn from each other, I think, from the first meeting right on. That was, yeah, more than seven years ago. Now, that's interesting. It's great to have this long-term partnership. Um, can you recall, uh, or what would you say would be the biggest changes that you have seen over time? So um, from seven years ago, how has the collaboration or the joint adventure shifted? Yeah, I mean, we, we've, been, uh, we've been talking about this in, in a few occasions, also together with Dave in, uh, in, in you know, public uh, sessions. And, and I have to say, again, you know, it was, it was very good that we, that we started really to interact. And it, it was very good that we committed on our side to learn. And, and uh, it was not only about learning what it means to be a digitally native company or, or a technology platform and learning how to use that platform at best. It, was, it, it then became really learning through the business and through the brands. And, and, uh, and now what we call the retail centricity or, or being consumer minded, I think is just the amplification, you know, of what started uh, probably seven years ago with Zalando. Very good. Um, Switching gears a bit, um, thinking about um, uh, 2019, when you started um, embarking on your new vision, which uh, you refer to as purpose-led and performance-driven, which clearly um, is including an elevated focus on digital. Um, can you tell us a bit more about this? Yeah, that was the beginning of, uh, of uh, the VF transformation, right? We, we said VF uh, has uh, now 121 years. And, uh, you know, in, in this long history, it went through several transformations. I think the most important is probably what is happening now, right? We, we really declare uh, to become a purpose-led company. And, and that means that the most important decisions that we started to make were seen through the lens of our purpose, which is really a commitment to, you know, sustainability, active lifestyles, and the betterment of the planet and the people, so the communities. And I think actually what is happening today is in the world, you know, is really confirming more than ever what we just said. Performance, performance uh, you know, uh, driven, we, we've always been to a certain extent, the financial governance of this company and the, you know, the focus on trying to succeed through the brands has always been there. Uh, but now more than ever, the two things actually, you know, are the two legs of, of one body and, and we try to bring them to life really at the same time. So, so I think now we have, less brands in our portfolio. We're very committed to the, to the ultimate uh, reach of the purpose. And uh, you know, every brand has a purpose that is part of the broader purpose. And at the same time, we keep uh, evolving the concept of performance. And, and I think digital first 
uh, is now becoming part of our transformation, right? Together with, with the centricity of consumers and the technology investments. Oh, we're glad to hear that. Can you maybe tell me a bit more about the role that Zalando is playing in that journey? Yes, so, so when, I, when I look at Zalando, and, and personally, actually, I was the one really making that commitment seven years ago and started to you know, centrally lead this partnership. I, what I always try to, to think and learn from also the Zalando technology you know, uh, innovation was how to put the consumer in the center of everything that we were doing. So, so the consumer minded, this retail centricity, you know, it became a, more than a focus. You know, it becomes part of everyday work execution. So it, it goes from long-term planning to seasonal planning and down to the in-season trading, really, on a weekly, daily basis. And as we know today, we have, you know, teams, trading teams that are focused on our brands inside Zalando. We, we look at the merchandising planning in, in a complete different way. We, we really feel owner of, of the assets of the brands and what the brands stand for and, and the proposition that would constantly flow for consumers to engage with. And then honestly, it was a bold move probably five years ago after learning a little bit more. We, we had to leave the old legacy behind. We had to decide that we were no longer a traditional wholesale company with some store and retail operation. And we had to really shift pivot inside digital and, and push this vision, you know, together with what I call the full price ecosystem. So our own stores and the key partners that we have in, in the physical world, you know, to, to push this vision beyond the old, the old traditional way and, and do a lot of shift. You know, it, it's about mindset, it's about organizational settings. It's about also the, the leaders of the company, whether they learn or whether we, knew, we, we need better skills, better leaders. So there was a lot of work to really get there. And, and then the speed, the speed of the change. We really had to go faster and embrace the change and, and constantly learn, reset, and lead. So it was an amazing journey. I think it was really one of the best, probably unique acceleration in, in the history of this company.